Okay guys, I have a Trello tip for you this week. I saw someone ask this question over on Reddit the other day. They wanted to be able to, on a weekly basis, basically reset all of the checklists on a particular list on their board. So I thought I'd take a look and see what's possible here because I know that our typical way of handling a weekly task would be with a scheduled automation and checklists are not available in the options for scheduled automations yet. I'm hoping that's something that they're planning to enhance soon. But that doesn't mean that you can't still create something that will make your life just a little bit easier. So that's what I'm showing you this week, how you can automate resetting the checklists on a list on your board. So stick around. So as with most things in technology and in the process of your business, there's more than one way we can achieve this. One of these ways is by creating a manual button, but the other one you can actually automate just a little bit more if you make use of due dates. So let me show you what I mean. And as with a lot of these types of automations, this is going to be a two-part automation. So the first part of this automation is going to be a simple rule saying that when we mark the due date complete, it's going to reset the checklists. So we come into our rules, we create a new rule, we're going to add a trigger, we're going to head over to dates, and we're going to say when a due date is marked as complete, and you can go ahead and filter this down to a particular list if that's what you want to do. So let's go ahead and do this week and hit the plus sign. And then we'll hit that blue plus sign. And then when we come to our actions here, we're going to go ahead to checklists. We're going to scroll down. And you can see there's already a rule here that says reset all the checklists on this card. So let's hit that blue plus sign and go ahead and hit save. Okay, in the second half of this automation, we're actually going to do a due date automation. So let's click on that. We're gonna click create automation. And we're gonna add a trigger. And we're going to say the moment a card, and let's grab that same list again in our filter this week, little plus sign. And then let's hit that blue plus sign. So the moment a card in that list is due, we're gonna go ahead and go to our dates tab, mark the due date as complete. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and move that due date to the same day next week, which you can see this one is already kind of um, set for that. You have other options though if you wanted it to be monthly or if you had just a particular number of days or to the next Monday or whatever it might be. But let's go ahead with the same day next week and we'll hit our blue plus sign. So you can see we have that. And then we're also going to go ahead and mark that due date as incomplete. And here's where our order of operations really matters. Um, we wanna mark it as complete because it's going to trigger the other automation that we set up to reset the checklists then we want to move the due date and then we want to mark it as incomplete and that is setting this up to be a recurring weekly activity that happens okay so let's go ahead and hit save and then let's go ahead and test our automations so we need to go ahead and put this due date for today and let's make it uh within a minute or two so i'm going to go ahead and put these at 10.01 a.m. so that we can see this run and make all of our changes. So 10.01, and this is what you would have to do in order to test this as well. Then once this is complete, you'd wanna re-update um, your due dates to the correct day of the week that you and, and time that you want these things to uh, trigger. Okay, so we'll give this a minute or so. It is 10 o'clock right now, so we're expecting within a minute that this is going to trigger. It will take a little bit of time for it to register everything, but what we're expecting to see is that these, where it says May 1st, will turn green. They will mark, get marked complete, turn green. After a little bit of time, then all of these checklists will stop being green and go from nine out of nine or three out of three down to like zero out of their number. 
then our due date will push a week. So instead of being May 1st, it'll be May 7th. And then it's going to uncheck the completion. Oh, here we go. So it just hit that it's due. So let's go ahead and see our automation flow through. Oh, here it goes. Oh, May 8th, not May 7th. I always do that wrong. Okay, see how we see that checklist going down? So then we'll see the next card will mark itself complete. It does take a little bit of time when you do kind of these more complex automations because they're all trying to run at the same time. I don't know if it's just being really slow or we might have an actual problem. There's really no reason why we should. I'm very curious about that. Oh, that one says PM. That's why that one didn't go. Okay, let's reset that one to 10.03 a.m. Oops, I didn't mean 10.30. Oh, I meant 10.03. And then let's see what's going on with this one. 10.01 a.m. That one should have gone, so I'm not sure why it didn't. But this is how we troubleshoot, right? Because sometimes things don't go exactly as we plan the first time we do it. But we can see this one is starting to go through so its process, so it came due. Now let's see if this one processes through the way the first one did. Oh, here we go. And we can see that one counted down. So let's go see if we can figure out why this one didn't work. So we're gonna go into our automation, into our rules. And we're gonna make the assumption that it was our marking the due date complete that didn't work because that's the first step of this process. So let's go ahead and look at only our enabled rules here, which is this one. And then when we wanna check what's going on with something, we're gonna check this little um, light bulb automation log, log. Let's click that. And we're gonna get our rules. So um, let's see, total operations, oh. It's acting like it did run. Let's go see. Maybe it ran when we weren't looking. Nope, it didn't. Okay. So then let's go back. We'll look at our automation log again. Okay. So two cards with due dates are tracked on this board. Huh. Okay. Let's only display warnings and errors. We've got no warnings or errors. So nothing went wrong with it. Let's just see, I wonder if it's because they were trying to run at the same time. Sometimes when we have too many things that are going to trigger at once, it can, they can conflict, it can overload the system. So that being said, it would probably be a good idea to kind of stagger your due date times. So maybe uh, one card is at 12.01, the next one is at like 12.03, and then the next one's at 12.05. That way, they're all going to have happened by the time you come in for work, but they won't be trying to happen at the exact same time. That's going to save the system from overloading and, and kind of overcharging its bandwidth and having what happened to us happen to you. So we're waiting for a little bit less than a minute to see um, this next one go. And as long as it goes correctly on its own, then that was our problem, right? Is that they were just trying to trigger at the same time and the automation got overloaded. Oh, here we go. Yep, it's working correctly. So that was it. So rule of thumb, if you're gonna have multiple cards like this and you're going to use this automation option, then you wanna make sure you stagger the due date times by a minute or two, probably two, just in case you have a lot of items on the checklist so that it doesn't conflict with the others and try to run them all at the same time. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.